Unit 13, The 22nd Sea Games Part A, Reading, page 138 The 22nd Southeast Asian Games were held in Vietnam from the 5th to the 13th of December 2003. Although it was the first time Vietnam hosted such a big sports event, the games were a great success. The games really became a festival that impressed sports enthusiasts with its spirit, solidarity, cooperation for peace and development. Athletes from 11 participating countries competed in 32 sports, and 444 gold medals were won. Some teams, such as table tennis, badminton, karate do, volleyball, basketball, and wrestling, were composed of top competitors in the region. Many games records were close to international levels. Vietnam won 158 gold medals to finish at the top of the Southeast Asian Games medal standings. Thailand was ranked second with 90 golds, and Indonesia was third with only 55 golds. Singapore and Vietnam were the two nations which had participants who presented the most outstanding athlete titles in the swimming and shooting events. The Vietnamese women's football team successfully defended the SEA Games title. The men's football team won a silver medal. In other sports, such as karate do, athletics, bodybuilding, and wushu, the young and energetic Vietnamese athletes performed excellently and won a lot of gold medals. Vietnam's first place finish was not surprising. Firstly, to prepare for the 22nd Sea Games, Vietnam carried out an extensive program for its athletes, which included training in facilities both home and abroad. Secondly, with the strong support of their countrymen, the Vietnamese athletes competed in high spirits. The country's success has proved that Vietnam can organize sporting events on an international level. A plan has been proposed for Vietnam to host the Asia Sports Games at some point in the future. Task 1. Listen to the first newspaper article about Amnat, the winner in the 22nd Southeast Asian Games pole vaulting competition and answer the questions. The first newspaper article. Only Amnet won a gold in the Southeast Asian Games pole vaulting yesterday. Nobody else could clear the bar. While he was the only one who stood alone on the podium, Amnet was among the Thai athletes who won 10 gold medals in early events yesterday. He won the gold in pole vaulting final after clearing 4.80 meters. Meanwhile, four other pole vaulters missed their attempts at the heights ranging from 4.40 meters to 4.80 meters. Amnet has proved a lonely winner in this event, but his points were still below the Sea Games record of 5.05 meters. Task 1 Listen to the first newspaper article about Amnat, the winner in the 22nd Southeast Asian Games pole vaulting competition, and answer the questions. The first newspaper article. Only Amnat won a gold in the Southeast Asian Games pole vaulting yesterday. Nobody else could clear the bar. While he was the only one who stood alone on the podium, Amnat was among the Thai athletes who won 10 gold medals in early events yesterday. He won the gold in pole vaulting final after clearing 4.80 meters. Meanwhile, four other pole vaulters missed their attempts at the heights ranging from 4.40 meters to 4.80 meters. Amnat has proved a lonely winner in this event but his points were still below the Sea Games record of 5.05 meters. Task 2. Listen to the second newspaper article 
about the players of Vietnam's women's football team and decide whether the statements are true or false. The second newspaper article. The Vietnamese milk company, Vinamilk, has offered jobs to the 27 members of Vietnam's women's football team after they won the game's second title. Perhaps they are going to be milkmaids when they retire. It is not an odd proposal because the majority of the footballers will become unemployed when the games are over. And they will have to struggle to make ends meet. Vinamilk has promised to train their new employees as soon as the deal is signed. The goalkeeper of Vietnam's women's football team is dreaming of running a cafe after doctors have said her injuries would stop her from playing ever again. At the moment, she is short of money, so the Vinamilk offer looks tempting to her. Task 2 Listen to the second newspaper article about the players of Vietnam's women's football team and decide whether the statements are true or false. The second newspaper article The Vietnamese milk company, Vinamilk, has offered jobs to the 27 members of Vietnam's women's football team after they won the game's second title. Perhaps they are going to be milkmaids when they retire. It is not an odd proposal because the majority of the footballers will become unemployed when the games are over. And they will have to struggle to make ends meet. Vinamilk has promised to train their new employees as soon as the deal is signed. The goalkeeper of Vietnam's women's football team is dreaming of running a cafe after doctors have said her injuries would stop her from playing ever again. At the moment, she is short of money, so the Vinamilk offer looks tempting to her. Part C. Listening. Page 142. Listen and repeat. Odd. Tempting. Deal. Proposal. Milkmaid. Clear. Employee. Podium. Part E. Language Focus. Page 145. Pronunciation. Practice reading these sentences. Make sure you link the words together as shown. 1. Look at these pictures. 2. The plane took off despite the fog. 3. Mrs. Brown's quite old. 4. She's from Australia. 5. She has many friends in London. 6. It's upstairs. 7. Tom used to live here. 8. Put on your helmet, please. 9. I want to move into a new flat with some friends. 10. Don't forget to turn off the lights. Test Yourself E. Page 148. Listening. Listen to the text and write down the missing word or number. The first one has been done as an example. Today we think of a book as a volume of many sheets of paper containing text, illustrations, photographs, etc. Because of their durability and portability, the main uses of books are to preserve and distribute information. In ancient times, people wrote on clay tablets, wood or bamboo tablets tied with cord, or book rolls to store information. Later, with the invention of paper, the Chinese had the first book called Jingangjing, the Diamond Sutra, printed in 868 AD. In the 20th century, despite the challenge from other media such as radio or television and computer, books continued to be a primary means for the dissemination of knowledge, for instruction and pleasure in skills and arts, and for the storage 
of Humans Experience.